Hi. Now, for this question, we've got to find the exact solution of 3 to the power x times e to the power 4x equals e to the power 7, and give the answer in its simplest form. So, there's two ways that I can think of tackling this question. I'll show you both ways anyway. One way would be to take the natural log of both sides okay, of the equation. I say take the natural log because we've got e here, okay? So that's why I would go for natural log. So you've got the natural log of all of 3 to the power x times e to the power 4x, and that will equal the natural log of e to the power 7. And we can use the addition rule here for when you get two values being multiplied together for a log. In other words, I can think of this as the natural log of 3 to the power x plus the natural log of e to the power 4x. And then this would be equal to the natural log of e to the power 7. And at this point, what I could do is bring the powers out, okay, by using the power rule for logs. In other words, this term here becomes x times the natural log of 3. This one will be 4x times the natural log of e. But remember, the natural log of e is 1. So this is just going to be plus 4x. And for this one, this will be 7 times the natural log of e, or 7 times 1. In other words, 7. And I've got two terms that contain x here, so I would pull out x as a common factor and would have x times the natural log of 3 plus the 4, and that would equal the 7. And then to get x, all I need to do is divide both sides by natural log of 3 plus 4. I don't kind of like the look of the natural log of 3 plus 4 because it kind of looks like you should be doing the natural log of 7, not that it is, okay? So what I'm going to do is just turn that round, but it's up to you. I'm just going to say that this is divided by 4 plus the natural log of 3. So that's my answer. That's one way of approaching this. Another way, though, we'll just come down here and I'll just put or here. Another way then is we'll take our equation um, from the top here, 3 to the power x times e to the power 4x equals e to the power 7, is to divide both sides by e to the power 4x. So you end up with 3 to the power x equals e to the power 7 divided by e to the power 4x. And because these are to the same base here, e, we can subtract the powers, so therefore we end up with 3 to the power x equals e to the power 7 minus 4x. And at this point, we've got two terms. We could take natural logs to both sides. We'd get, therefore, the natural log of 3 to the power x would equal the natural log of e to the power 7 minus 4x. And then I could use the power rule for logs on both of these and get, therefore, x times the natural log of 3 equals 7 minus 4x multiplied by the natural log of e. Well, that's 1, so it's just going to be 7 minus 4x there. And then, can you see that this is taking basically the same shape as what we had up here? If I add 4x to both sides... I've got 4x plus x times the natural log of 3 equals 7. Pull out x as a common factor. x bracket 4 plus the natural log of 3 equals 7. And then from here, if I divide both sides by 4 plus the natural log of 3, then you end up with x equals 7 divided by 4 plus the natural log of 3. So couple of ways there that you could approach that question, all right?